it is that time of month. No, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> hey guys, it's time for October favorites. Once again, another month has flown by and it is now November and that is so crazy to think. I hope everyone had a wonderful Halloween. Um, I know that we did, my kids enjoyed it. And I am ready for Thanksgiving and Christmas because I am one of those crazy Christmas people that will probably have my Christmas decorations up in a few weeks. But hey, it's only once a month, I mean once a year, so that's the way that I see it. I'm feeling a little bit rebellious today because I switched up my part. Usually I have a part on this side and for whatever reason I thought I would be rebellious and put it on the other side, so I kind of like it. Kind of gives my hair some volume, like it's used to laying over here, so when you switch it up, it's like, whoa. Anyways, let's get on to my October favorites. One of my first favorites, I'll go ahead and get this out of the way because I know that not everyone is a blondie like I am, but this is the Pure, Bl Pure Blends, I can't talk today, Pure Blends Violet um, Shampoo, and this is for blondes or white or gray haired people. I like this because it is not drying. Most purple shampoos are very, very drying and this is not. I buy this at my salon um, at Visible Changes. So if you have Visible Changes near you, I would pick some of this up if you are a blondie. If not, you can probably order it off of Amazon. I haven't checked, but if so, I will definitely link it below so that you can just click on it and purchase it from Amazon. But this is very hydrating. It does not dry your hair out. You can use this as a shampoo, so you do not have to use a shampoo and then use the purple shampoo. You can use this all as one, and I really like this. Like, I see a difference in my hair. I like it a little bit ashier and not so brassy. Anyways, this is uh, $20 at my salon, so if you are blonde, definitely get some of this. My next favorite for October is this Living Proof full dry volume blast and I am really liking this stuff. I have it in my hair now so if you can see I do have quite a bit of volume in there right now and I didn't even have to tease my hair. What is going on over here? I would lift this up, spray it, flip it over this way and just kind of do it all along my head and then um, pretty much good to go after that. The reason that I like this is because you do not have to use this on wet hair. You can use it on dry hair, which a lot of volumizing products require you to use it on wet hair and then blow dry. And I don't blow dry my hair very often, so this is the trial size, and I believe it was like 12 or $13, but you can buy the full size at Sephora or Ulta for, don't quote me on this, but I think it's $29. My next October favorite is this... Milani, Milani Luminoso blush and I had mentioned the NARS blush last favorites I think and this is better than the NARS blush. I like the color, the, the color is prettier, it's like a peachy color and let's see if the camera will focus on it. Yeah it's just it's a peachy color, the NARS is a little bit more of a pinkier um, color and I still like the NARS blush, but this one has a better color payoff and it seems to last a little bit longer. Like I have it on my cheeks right now and it's just like a barely there blush, but it stays. And I feel like the NARS one was coming off really easily. Like, you know, halfway through the day, you couldn't even tell that I had a blush on. And this one stays really well. It's very pigmented and the best part is that it's like $5.99 at the grocery store. I picked mine up at HEB, so if you live in... Um, Texas, H-E-B, most H-E-Bs I think carry Milani, I'm not sure, but I do know that Walgreens and CVS carry it, and this is good stuff. I think all the rest, I don't know about the rest of them, I haven't tried them before, but they're very pigmented, so if um, the rest of them are just as pigmented as this one, I would maybe pick up a couple of them and try them out. My next favorite for October is this True Match Lumi Foundation. And I know that I had mentioned, um, and this is by L'Oreal, I know that I had mentioned that I do not really care for foundation, and I do like foundation, I just don't put it on every day, if that makes sense. I am a very busy mother of three kiddos, and every day I do not put on foundation. Like, how you see me right now, I do have foundation, well, kind of have foundation, I have on a CC cream right now. 
but the way that you see me in the videos is not usually how I am every single day. Um, I usually have on the minimalist makeup possible and that does not include foundation. So when I do wear foundation um, on the weekends, on dates, on special occasions, if I just want to feel a little bit better about my skin, I will reach for this one. This is very affordable. It was $11 at the grocery store. My color is creamy natural. And the problem with drugstore foundations, in my opinion, is that you never know what your color is. Like when you go to Sephora, they can color match you. When you go to the drugstore or the grocery store, you're kind of taking a gamble on which color that you grab. And that drives me crazy because I hate to return things. I'm just like one of those people that it drives me nuts to have something that I know that I need to return. If you feel like you have the same kind of skin tone as I do, then I would pick up the Creamy Natural. If not, just kind of, you know, try your best to pick one out. I use mine with a Beauty Blender sponge, and this is really dirty and gross, but and it goes on very nicely. I just squirt two pumps on the back of my hand and use it that way, but it's not cakey and it doesn't break me out, which is a plus because the Makeup Forever HD foundation breaks me out and it's it has beautiful coverage and it looks great but I would rather not break out so this is fairly comparable honestly um, it's not a heavy foundation where it covers like every imperfection but it is more on the sheer side or medium side I would say so if you are needing a new foundation that is affordable I would try this one out my Biggest and best and favorite, favorite, favorite of October is this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. It is in the shade Light. I will swatch it for you. This is what it looks like. And it is very, very pigmented and it works very very well. I am really impressed with this concealer. I feel like I have tried so many concealers and I'm just like not crazy about any of them. And I'm about to show you one in just a minute that that is an unfavorite for the month so that you do not go out and buy it because it's awful. But this is super super good. I actually saw this off of Jaclyn Hills, one of her drugstore favorite videos. I believe and went out and picked this up and she is so right this is good good stuff I have a problem with dark circles because I have kids this works really well underneath my eyes um, and any other places where you need concealing like this is good stuff so go out and get this the best part is that it's like $5.99 at the drugstore so Maybelline fit me concealer go get your thumb. So this next product, I kept it just so I could trash it after I talk about it. But this is the NYX HD Photo, um, Photo Studio Photogenic Concealer. And my color is CW02, which is probably like very light, light or fair, I'm sure. And this stuff is just no bueno. So I'm swatching it for you here. And... It's very, like, I don't know. I just feel like after you rub it in, it just, it doesn't wear well. I wore it one day, and then halfway through the day, I was like, I don't even look like I have any concealer on. And it caked under my eyes, and the color was definitely off, which is, you know, a color that I would normally pick out. I wouldn't want to go too much darker than this anyway, so I don't think it's a color problem. I think it's just the formula problem, and that's a shame because I really like NYX. Um, I love, 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 love their butter glosses, so it's not like I hate, I hate NYX or anything like that. They have got good stuff, but their studio concealer is just no good. Okie dokie, guys. The, those, those, <laughs> those are my October favorites from the month of October, duh. I hope that you go out and pick up some of these items that I have mentioned. They're, re they're really, really good stuff, especially this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I'm super impressed with that. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys super duper soon. Bye!